making sushi. We're making sushi. We are doing our ticket to Tokyo radish kids box. We have some awesome recipes. Like Wally said, we're gonna make handmade sushi rolls. We're gonna make some yummy teriyaki chicken skewers and some yakisoba noodles. So let's get cooking. I gotta know. All right, Wally, show them the patch you get to earn this month. Whoa. That's so Mount cool, Fuji. Mount Fuji. The We're going to put it on sun. your apron. Are you ready to start cooking? Yeah. Are you? Are you missing something? Yeah. What are you missing? This. Oh, should we put it on? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I didn't know how it got on. That was crazy. All right, you ready? Let's start cooking. All right, so we are starting off with these handmade sushi rolls. And our kit came this month with a cool sushi rolling mat and some chopsticks. So we have some sushi nori to put on the outside. I actually bought this official sushi rice. So that was fun to track down and find. Um, and then we have a bunch of veggies that we're gonna put in there. We've got some yummy carrots. We're gonna use an English cucumber. I think I'm gonna put in a little bit of these green onions and some red pepper. And then we also have some Surimi seafood sticks. So um, this is actually wild caught Alaskan pollock. So it's gonna mimic the crab. Um, I thought about getting real crab meat, but it's really expensive. And this one was actually, um, it's fully cooked for one and it is gluten free um, and you get quite a bit and it was not too expensive. So we went with that guy and then I'm also gonna add in some Philadelphia cream cheese to my rolls. So let's start making our sushi rolls. So the first thing we had to do was make up our sushi rice and I actually did this in advance because it takes a long time. So you actually have to wash the rice out until the water runs clear and then it has to sit and soak for 30 minutes, cook for 20 minutes and then steam for an additional 10. So I made a bunch because I'm going to be eating sushi for lunch this week as well. So super excited about that. So we've got two cups of sushi rice all ready to go. Now we're gonna chop up all of our yummy veggies. So while we're cutting up our veggies, our rice is actually gonna sit here on this pan and we store, stirred in a fourth a cup of seasoned rice vinegar and just kind of stirred that in with a fork. And that's gonna sit and kind of soak that up for 10 minutes while we get all of our veggies ready. All right, we've got all of our yummy veggies. We've got some pollock crab meat. I got some cream cheese. We did some green onions and avocado. So yummy. We've got our one cup of rice, and then we've got our sushi nori. So it says we're going to lay out our piece of sushi, and then we're gonna dip our hands into some water, put our rice out, get that all situated, put in our veggies and our food, and roll it up. So it seems pretty easy. Are you ready, Wally? Let's do it. All right, here is our sushi rolls. They look pretty yummy. Maybe not restaurant quality, but I think they'll be pretty yummy. We got some fresh ginger and some wasabi, because you can't have sushi without wasabi. Wally's over here enjoying some fresh squeezed orange juice. So yummy. And Papa's working hard over here getting all the oranges squeezed, because we're gonna have our favorite some shoshu squeezes with some Japanese shoshu. So let's dig in. Let's dig into our sushi. All right, I'm gonna take my first bite of sushi here. Mm. How's that wasabi? Oh, that is good. All right, Mark's going in. He's doing it hand roll style. 
He's not a big sushi fan. But there's no fish, so it's just a veggie roll. It's actually pretty good. Yeah? Yep. It's yummy, huh? I'm already mm -hmm. ready. All right, it's time for our main course. We've got teriyaki chicken skewers and yakisoba noodles. So I've got my chicken all skewered up. We're gonna grill that up. They say to put it in the oven, but we're just gonna throw it on the grill. And then we're gonna make a yummy teriyaki glaze to go on that. And I've got my pot of water boiling over here for my noodles. And interesting, interestingly enough, this yakisoba noodle recipe actually calls for spaghetti noodles. So we're gonna use some gluten-free organic brown rice pasta, some spaghetti noodles, get that boiling, and I'm gonna saute up all my veggies for the stir fry. All right, so I got everything into my pot and whisk together to make our teriyaki sauce, but it's basically a third a cup of soy sauce. We use tamari, so it's gluten-free, a third a cup of brown sugar, and a third a cup of water and then you add in a tablespoon of um, they call for cornstarch we use arrowroot starch because of mark's corn allergy and then a fourth a teaspoon of some garlic salt so or garlic powder actually sorry so we've got that all whisked together here so now we're just going to bring that up to a boil let it thicken up and that'll be ready to go on our chicken once they come off the grill all right, our noodles are all done. Our sauce looks great. Chicken just came off the grill. I'm gonna throw in our veggie mix. So this is some cabbage, some carrots, some shredded carrots, some cabbage, um, a, some fresh grated ginger, and some minced garlic. Um, and then actually you're supposed to use Napa cabbage, but I had this red cabbage left from doing sauerkraut the other night. So we're just gonna use the red cabbage. I think it'll still be fine. And then over here I made our sauce. So the sauce is sounds delicious. Um, so you actually take some green onions and then mix into it. Um, let's see, it is a tablespoon, two tablespoons of Worcestershire. A uh, fourth a cup of soy sauce. We're using the organic coconut aminos from Trader Joe's. And then a tablespoon of toasted sesame oil. And a tablespoon of vegetable oil. And two tablespoons of ketchup. So we've got all that mixed in here. So we're gonna saute our veggies for like two minutes, kinda get them all wilted. And then we're gonna mix in the noodles and our sauce and we'll be ready to eat. I think I forgot to mention, there's also a tablespoon of brown sugar in here. So that's what's gonna make it. It's gonna balance out some of the sweets. So don't forget the brown sugar. All right, there is our delicious teriyaki all on the chicken kebabs. Those look delicious and our yakisoba noodles look and smell amazing. Time to eat. Mmm, that looks pretty yummy. Mark, what's the verdict? This is amazing. Delicious? Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. All right, we had so much fun doing this box, didn't we, dude? Yeah. yeah look at all your patches. You have so many. Yeah, you're getting lots of patches. You're a good chef these days. This was a really fun one. We kind of put it off for a while. This was actually our July box, um, but we I was a little intimidated by it, but it was actually super fun. I didn't think that the sushi was too hard to make. Probably the hardest part was just the rice itself. Um, but they turned out really good. The noodles were delicious and the skewers were awesome and those were super simple recipes. Um, it is really fun because in here, this month it talked about the different types of sushi. So that was really cool. Um, it talked about some of the different like big places to visit in Tokyo. So that was really neat. So I had the culture piece in there. And then it also shared all the different kinds of noodles. I thought that was really cool. So another thing that was really neat this month, and we'll have to try this maybe when he's a little bit older, but it has this really cool chopstick challenge. So it teaches you, first of all, how to use chopsticks, which I'm adept in, but uh, these two not so much. No. Um, but then it does have these really cool like chopstick competitions. So that's really fun. We'll have to try that sometime. I don't think Wally could quite do it yet, but it would be fun to try. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Molly's my little cooking buddy. He almost tried some of the sushi, but he had a lot of fun cooking with Mama, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. I thought about the sushi. You thought about the sushi, yeah. <laughs> you like candy sushi better, I think, huh? 
Do you like candy sushi better than real yeah. sushi? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button because we've got lots more fun coming your way. This is the wonderful world of Walter. Yeah. And we love you just the way you are. Bye. Bye. Sayonara. Bye. Bye.